Bloomberg Index Services said on Tuesday that it would include Indian G6, which is government bonds, in its emerging market local currency index from January 31st next year. Well, 34 Indian government bonds are eligible for investment through the country's fully accessible route, also known as FAR. This comes about five months after JP Morgan had announced that it would include India in its widely tracked emerging market debt index. The inclusion of Indian bonds in these two key indices could attract billions of dollars of foreign investment in the Indian government securities market. This could potentially lead to a decline in Indian bond yields and strengthen the currency which is the Indian rupee. FAR is a separate channel introduced by the RBI for non-resident investments in G6 with effect from April 1st, 2020. Bloomberg is a global business and financial information service provider. Using data as of January 31st, 2024, the index would include 34 Indian securities worth $448 billion on a market value weighted basis. In a statement, Michael Bloomberg, founder of Bloomberg LP said and I quote, India's continued emergence as a global financial center promises to be one of the most significant economic developments of this decade and Bloomberg is committed to bolstering it by connecting more investors to India. Once completely phased into the Bloomberg Emerging Market 10% Country Capped Index, India FAR bonds will be fully capped at 10% weight within the index. At that point, the Indian rupee is expected to become the third largest currency component of the Emerging Market Local Currency Index following the Chinese Zenmibi and the South Korean won. Speaking to Mint, VK Vijay Kumar, Chief Investment Strategist, Geojit Financial Services said and I quote, Inclusion of India in the Bloomberg Bond Index is expected to attract investments exceeding $5 billion. This comes on top of the expected investment of around $20 billion in the JP Morgan Emerging Market Bond Fund. Including India in the Emerging Market Bond Fund is a declaration that India's financial market is mature and stable. This is also a vote of confidence in India's macro financial stability. What do you think of this decision made by Bloomberg? Do you think it will boost India's primary and secondary bond market? Please let us know in the comment section and stay tuned to Live Mint for more such updates.